this plant here is called teasel and this is the flower and the seed head on top and you might notice or recognize it when it's dried up it looks like that and the seeds fall out in the fall but then the next year that stalk is still there so the very first year teasel is low to the ground a little rosette of leaves and so it still has the prickly pokey leaves same that the bigger ones do here's a close-up of that it's a really pretty leaf long leaves close to the ground and then the second year it's going to grow up and make a stalk and a flower and you'll see lots of bees on it it's really pretty nice and the leaves make a junction like a joint and sometimes you'll even see standing water in these junctions and then bugs die in there and the plant actually drinks the compost tea of the dead bugs and gets nutrition out of it so it's called semi-carnivorous and it kind of looks like a tick this weird seed head looking thing so that's a symbol or a clue and it's always out in these you know big open fields where deer are passing through and the ticks are jumping on them and so this teasel is a remedy for Lyme disease and the joints also symbolize that it's good for joints. So obviously there's a lot more to it, but that's a simple little way of helping you remember and um, the plants giving you a little symbol of a clue of what it possibly could be used for. Teasel is a European herb that was brought here as a tool that these seed heads would be used to tease wool. So it's an invasive species. It's a weed, um, but also very useful, helpful herbal medicine. And the roots is the part that we use. So we would dig um, the roots of the first year plant. And again, the first year plants are the ones that are just low to the ground um, like this that haven't made the flowers or the seeds yet. So this is a pretty good example of um, all the life cycle of teasel here. Thank you, thank you teasel. We love your medicine. Oh.